welcome back everyone in today's video we are going to walk you through the process of installing Palo Alto virtual machine in VMware workstation Palo Alto virtual machines are a great way to simulate a Palo Alto Networks firewall in a lab or testing environment so let's dive in so first thing we need to do is uh, to make sure we have the necessary files uh, you will need to download the Palo Alto virtual machine images from the Palo Alto Networks website. Uh, once you have that, let's proceed to the installation. I have the file right here onto my PC, uh, which is PAVM ESX 8.0.5. So I will navigate to this path by following this link, of which says open a virtual machine. And I will navigate to the path where I have downloaded the Palo Alto virtual machine image. So I will go to the path which is ISO and OVA and right there PAVM ESX 8.0.5 So I will click on open to launch the installation wizard So I will install this uh, virtual machine onto this path uh, You can change the, the location by browsing it to the different location But I will uh, leave it to the default and click on import Uh, now I have installed Palo Alto VM on uh, VMware workstation and you can see the parameters right there which are configured by default on the OVA file to change uh, or to add the network adapters uh, in this particular VM I will click on this edit virtual machine settings and I will create a couple of uh, network adapters by following this add button and selecting network adapter and click on finish I will repeat the process one or two more times to add a couple of network adapters more click add again and network adapter and click on finish as you can see that we have uh, five network adapters attached to this virtual machine so I will click on ok and uh, one more thing before uh, proceeding further is uh, to go to the configuration file associated with uh, this virtual machine uh, which is the vmx file we need to change the file in order to for successful launch of this virtual machine so i will uh, minimize this window and i will go to the location where i have my virtual machines and right there i have virtual machine uh, we have virtual machine configuration file i will click on it and open in uh, open with the let's say notepad uh, right there so i will change the uh, network type uh, which is uh, e1000 here and we need to change this to something else uh, for example uh, yeah uh, right there vmx net 3 we need to change the ethernet virtual dev option of all the network adapters we have attached to this virtual machine so i will go to ethernet 3 virtual uh, dev option and paste there and i will do the same process with the remaining two options and I will click on uh, I will save the file by pressing Ctrl S on the screen and close this file and I will now move back to my virtual machine and click on power on this virtual machine and now it is uh, at the login screen of uh, the Palo Alto virtual machine so I will give it some time before I will log in because 
the 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 VMware uh, DHCP service will assign a DHCP IP to this virtual machine. So once it receives the DHCP IP, we can log in to this virtual machine from the uh, web browser. So I will uh, wait for a couple of minutes as it will populate the information right there. Yeah, you can see that it has assigned the uh, DHCP IP of 192.168.0.127 with the slash 24 bit subnet mask. Uh, now you can go to your web browser. I will use Chrome in this case and mm, access the uh, password to networks. Uh, web interface so I will click on the URL uh, box 192.168.0.107 I think I need to pass HTTPS for this URL colon slash slash uh, yes, you can see that it has uh, uh, presented us uh, a warning uh, message. Your connection is not private as I do not have the uh, uh, certificate for the virtual machine installed on my, to my browser. Uh, so that is why it is uh, giving us error certified certificate authority invalid. So I will accept the risk and click on advance and proceed to 192.168.0.107 and now you can log in your Palo Alto uh, virtual machine by using the username admin and admin it is presenting you with the warning that your device is still configured with the default admin account credentials as this is the lab environment we can change on to later and I will click on ok and it will uh, redirect you to the web uh, dashboard of the Palo Alto virtual machine. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, we hope this tutorial was helpful in guiding you through the process of installing Palo Alto virtual machine on VMware workstation. If you have any questions or need, need for further assistance, Feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more technology tutorials. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.